Welcome to this video on adding additional templates to QuickQuote. In this video, I'll show you how to add a projection template to an existing QuickQuote in order to estimate a building design not covered by the standard job templates. Before watching this video, we recommend that you first view the Getting Started Introduction to QuickQuote video. There are many situations in which you might want to add an additional template to your QuickQuote. You might want to add a projection to a house or bungalow or perhaps you want to add a garage to a house estimate. In addition, you might want to estimate renovation or fitting out tasks using rooms you've set up in a renovation template. Remember, if you want to estimate several houses, you should normally estimate each house in a separate estimate. You can bring them together into a project if you have Total Toolkit or Ultimate Edition of Estimator Express. I've finished estimating a two-story extension in QuickQuote and want to attach a single story lean to projection template. Scroll down to the bottom of the quick quote window. Here you'll find the add additional template button. When you click add additional template, a window pops up prompting you to select a template type. As you can see, you can add anything from a house to a projection, a garage, or even renovation work. If you want to bolt on an addition to a house, bungalow, extension or garage you've just estimated, you must select a projection template, rather than an extension template. Whereas an extension connects to the walls of an existing building, a projection connects to new walls, so should only be used to add onto another new building. For a projection, QuickQuote will allow for the substitution of external wall details with internal connecting walls in the new building you've estimated. It will also allow for the formation of structural openings into the new connecting walls, netting off the internal wall. So a projection template will take account of the material saved by the opening in the connecting wall. A projection allows for the plastering and decoration of all walls in the new projection, including connecting walls, if you select those options. And of course, a projection template will estimate the construction of the new projection, including walls, roofs, doors and windows. Click on the template type you want to add to your quick quote. I'm going to select the projection option, as I want to attach a projection to the extension I've just estimated. The template selection window pops up. You'll recall this window from when you first created your quick quote. Note that the template you're adding can have a different wall finish from the original template, so you can mix and match your finishes. I'm going to select the Lean To Single Story Projection Template. A dialog box pops up asking you to confirm that you've chosen the correct template type. Read the information carefully, then click Yes if you're sure you've selected the appropriate template. Another dialog box pops up, this time prompting you to select a configuration. If you select the same as parent template option, the additional template will inherit the specifications you've chosen for the parent template. Now the quick quote window pops up. Enter the dimensions into the building plan. Note that the additional template inherits the specifications but not the dimensions from the original parent template, so you'll need to review the dimensions. I want to allow for plastering and decoration, but not decoration to the fascias and soffits. I need to set my foundation depth to 1.2 metres and change the roof pitch to 30 degrees. The specification of the external walls and floors has been automatically selected by QuickQuote to match the parent template. You'll want to review the dimensions and options by clicking the Dimensions button, as you've seen before in the Getting Started video. You'll need to specify the roof type for this additional template, as your addition may require a different type from the original template. Select a roof specification and internal finishes. You can once again click the dimensions button to review the roof dimensions. Now let's add a structural opening. 
Select Openings to New Walls from the drop-down box. I'm going to select the Structural Opening to New Wall, Small Opening option. The Dimensions Wizard pops up, allowing you to check the dimensions and options for the structural opening. I'm going to set the opening to be 2 metres wide. I'm going to use pad stones, so I'll leave that set to yes and zero out the bricks. Check the plastering details and then click finish. Type in the number of openings you need. The opening is to be formed into the connecting wall, so I'm going to select that option. As we're estimating a projection on a new building, QuickQuote will automatically omit the brickwork, blockwork and plastering from the opening of the connecting wall. I'm happy that QuickQuote has selected the Form Opening in Wall option. Now let's tell QuickQuote what we want to do with the connecting wall between the new extension and the projection. I'm going to select Internal Cavity Block Wall with Foundations from the Downstairs drop-down box. QuickQuote will automatically construct the connecting wall using the new specification. In this case, it will replace the brickwork of the external leaf with blockwork. What's more, QuickQuote will plaster and decorate the external side of the wall if you've selected those options at the top of the QuickQuote template. Let's have a closer look at the dimensions. QuickQuote knows there's an area of opening due to the structural opening and uses this information, along with the building dimensions, to calculate how much brickwork to omit and how much blockwork, plastering and decoration to add to the estimate. Review the foundation and footing details. Taking care to check the cavity width and wall width of the internal connecting wall are correct. In this case, I want to match the brick and block cavity wall cavity width of 0.14 metres. Once you've checked you're happy with the plastering and decorating options, click Finish. We also need to select a specification for the downstairs roof gables. I'm going to select Internal Cavity Block Wall again. This tells QuickQuote what we want to do with the connecting wall behind the gable abutment of the projection. In the case of a Lean 2 projection, gable refers to the rectangular abutment on the connecting wall. For lean twos, QuickQuote treats the rectangular abutment in the same way as normal triangular abutments. As I selected internal cavity block walls, QuickQuote will automatically construct the rectangular abutment gable using the new connecting wall specification, in other words with blockwork rather than brickwork. If you select the plastered vaulted ceiling roof option, QuickQuote will also apply plastering and decoration to the abutment. So that's the internal connecting wall sorted. Continue working your way through QuickQuote, estimating doors, windows and other elements in the same way. Once you're happy with the estimate, click close to return to the parent template of QuickQuote. You can now see the additional template at the bottom of the QuickQuote window. You can click the edit button at any time to open up and review the additional template. You can add further additional templates by clicking the Add Additional Template button. Or you can delete a template if you need to, using the Delete button. Now it's your turn. Click Add Additional Template and get started on adding a projection, extension, garage or other template type to your quick quote.